So we've just introduced uh, the list in task 5.1, and we mentioned that lists are quite like strings and that they have a length. And just as strings have characters that we can access individually um, through indexing, so do lists. So we're going to create a new code cell below this one, uh, like that. We're going to remember that variables persist between cells, so experiment run time in seconds already exists. And we're going to print only the first element, remembering that Python starts counting at zero. So let's print that. 100. Is that right? Well, if we scroll up to how it was defined, 100 is the zeroth element. Uh, can we run the print the last variable in the list, value in the list? We can either do that by counting 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and running the cell. 12, perfect. But that's not very useful if we don't know how long our list is. So we can also use the minus 1 tricks that we used for strings, and we'll still get that. So exactly the same as strings that you've already seen, but now we can start to include more things because lists are a little bit less restrictive.